my team. You don't need to talk to me. And they go, Vince, not acceptable. <coughs> we recommended the Bosch to you because we know it's a brand you can trust. At three years old, you should not have a service call. Yeah, I know, Rob, I shouldn't. And it's under warranty. Now we're going to pay for it. Uh, Vince, no, you don't. We don't believe that's fair. At ENS, we'll put you through the customer service team. The customer service team will organise a service call. We'll live it with us. ENS and Bosch will sort out who's paying. You're not. And so we, we go through that process. And so having a process called, having an overreaching process internally to make sure that every one of your actions, whether you make a mistake or not, whether there's a problem with the customer or not, people are empowered to deliver solutions that make people want to come back. If you aren't doing that, you're fucked. And to me, that's the number one thing. So uh, there's no point in me advertising until I've got that right. So all the money I'm going to spend on SPS, as an instance, will be a total bloody waste. And it's back to the roofing guy example. It will be a total bloody waste if I don't have people trained on how to answer the phone, how to respond to an email, how to respond to a problem when something goes wrong, how to respond to a price match request if there's a price match request. What are your, all of your policies on that? How does a consumer get dealt with when they ask these questions? And if they're not dealt with properly, don't advertise. Yeah. Otherwise, well, advertise. You need to spend five times as much to keep filling the bottom of the pipe that's leaking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So for me, having it's an always cheaper app- to keep a customer than to get a customer. Yep. And and we make stuff up all day long in our business, Vince. And I love seeing the. Uh, I always say to my my challenge to you guys: I want to hear about the day that we ring a chopper to fix a problem. I want to know the day you've had someone pick up from our warehouse a component to get a product fixed on a farm that we delivered to. I want to know it's going in a helicopter because that's how you fixed it. That's when I know that there are no there are no stones unturned in our approach and an unwavering desire to fix a customer's problem. Wow. Yeah. That's us. Rob, look. Um, it's been great talking to you and, and, uh, and I can feel your passion. Yeah. And I'm loving what you're doing in terms of your customer first. Yeah. And, and you know, you are living your brand. That's no wonder you get up every day and enjoy it because what you're doing is a great thing. I'll give you a number just to keep confidential. Harvey Norman were down 11% between July and, uh, the middle of, um, uh, sorry, the start of November. So from July one to I think it was the, I don't know, the early, whatever the date is now. So yeah. they were down 11. I was up 32. Uh, that must have been a good day when you saw that start. <laughs> you know, that's the other thing, Vince. Be humble. You know, it's we we are so we, we spend so much time worrying about how to improve ourselves at ENS. We don't celebrate sometimes, and I think that's. It's, not a, it's a great thing because we are humble, but sometimes you've also got to just put a smile on your face and say, hey, we did something pretty well. I've got dinner with all my store managers tomorrow night as their, as their Christmas function. Have no bloody fear. I'll be making sure they understand how uh, delighted I am with how well we're going. <laughs> yeah, look, and, and the thing there is, yeah, yeah, you're not crowing about your success. What you're doing is you're acknowledging how good you are at what you do. Yes, and that's, there's, a, there's, a dif- there's a difference between, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm fantastic. Look at me. I'm going, no, no, no. I'm, ju- we're just doing the right thing, right? That, we happen that, to be getting that result. We're doing a, yeah. what we're celebrating here is doing the right thing. 100% right. And the yeah. joy is in that. That's, that's yes. where the satisfaction is, Vince. Yes. My team are all satisfied as employees because they get to do the right thing for their clients every day. They yes. know if there's a problem. Rob has their back. And so they just go and fix it. Now, there are, t- there are some days you just go, shit, that was expensive. But, you know, <laughs> nothing's more expensive than having to find that customer again. And that's, that's the hardest bit. Or nothing's more expensive than having to rehire because a member of staff gave you the bird and said, you're a terrible place to work. And, you know, you hear all these people at the moment Vince, who are screaming for staff. They're screaming for staff because they're not nice people. They've lost yeah. all of people because they've made decisions to go and work somewhere else. Well, they let them all go in the first place. And they thought, stuff you, you guys can go. So at ENS, 350 employees, not one of them was stood down, not one of them missed a day's pay through the whole pandemic, not one. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I've got people at the moment who aren't allowed to work in my business um, because they're not vaccinated. I haven't stood them down. I haven't sacked them. They're working at home. They're manning the phones. They're servicing their customers, and they're still my employees. Wow. So it's a good place to work. And therefore, the customers get a nice reaction when they've got people who actually 
like where they work. They care about, you know, they, they know every email of a complaint comes through to me and they fix it before it gets to me. Yeah. So, so I, just, I, I just get to say bloody well done. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Um, there'd be one in a hundred where I've got to go, how do we not quite get this right? It's funny. The ones that really go wrong, I have to say to the customers, it's, it's quite funny. It's, when, when it's getting to my desk, it's like, it's almost like we've had a vendetta with you, isn't it? Like, you know, it's, it's, it's got to the point where we've tried hard to make your life really bad. <laughs> we, we can laugh over it because it's that bad. You know, and it's, you know, and, and I begin the apology and then forking out large amounts of money to make sure they're happy. But, you know, it's, it, it can go really bad some days. But you still fix it. Look, yeah, it, 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 it's 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 a rare problem that there isn't a solution to. Yep, exactly. Yeah, no, we don't we don't find too many. So that's that's it's you know the great thing about when you do things the way we do it, Vince. We are living who we are. We're nice people. We care. We want to make a difference. We want to make sure your experience with our business is right, and that the products you buy from us do do exactly what you say, what we told you that they're going to do. And every one of my people um, lives and exudes that. The delivery guys are proud to deliver the products to the customer because they know the customer is excited. And so the delivery guys, you know, the amount of phone calls we get about how incredible the delivery guys are and what they do for our customers is, is amazing. People can't believe that we beat the price at the good guys on a washing machine for a thousand bucks. Then we deliver it free of charge when they charge for delivery. We stack it, we remove it, we install it, we remove all the packaging and we recycle the old machine. And they just go, fuck, really? <laughs> Actually, I, I'm impressed by that. As someone who's just done the reno in the kitchen, yeah, I'm bloody impressed by that. I wish I'd known about you before. <laughs> hey, now, how does one become the professor of marketing at Sydney? What's, oh, look. What's your that, journey been? That's a, that's, a, that's a long story. We need, we need a glass of wine for that one, yeah, yeah Rob. Sounds but, good. Um, anyway, look, it, it's, been, it's been great to chat. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And um, uh, hey, look, I mean, I'd really like to yeah, catch up sometime if you're if we're out and about. I'm on the hey, circuit. Yeah. Be nice. You seem like a really interesting guy. Where are you, where are you based? You're in Melbourne or Sydney? Sydney. I'm in uh, based, based in Sydney. Yes. Yeah, thought so. Yeah, uh, but if, if you're ever in Melbourne, have, catch up for a coffee, no problems, or a glass of wine, whatever suits. Um, yeah. You know, it won't be till next year, Vince. So I've welcomed into the world a beautiful girl. So she's uh, ten days old. So um, oh. uh, these, uh, I'm, I'm um, you know, we're just been very practical with my time until February. Um, so, well, uh, you know, but uh, from February, uh, you know, I'll be knee deep in my business as well, man. Not, not that I'm not at the moment, but um, I'm just a little bit less knee deep. So, uh, well, yeah. It's, it's, wonderful. Wonderful. it's great. It's, it's great you've got time to, you know, to give yourself permission to do that. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that's really important. Okay, Excellent. Rob, look, we'll be in touch. You, is that what you needed? Yeah, it was, it was great. Good. Yeah, yeah. A particular delight, I say, to to because I didn't know much about your company. So, so actually, it's been a, a double delight. I have got some information about Trust, but also uh, I've got to know how fabulous your company is. So, thanks. Um, good luck with that. Thanks, Vince. Okay. Thanks. Cheers Thank now. Bye. Bye.